from the youngest to the eldest in the church, we are all ministers. And get this, our jobs as ministers, again, it's like any other minister. We are servants for the edification of the body of Christ and the glorification of God. That's what it's all about. You need to serve the body as though you were doing it unto the Lord. Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. Right. When you put in the Word of God, when you put in sound doctrine, when you put in faith, when you put in all the things the Word of God tells you to do, you become a minister. Amen. A minister. There are requirements to being a minister. You just don't get up in the morning, eat a bowl of Cheerios and say, Hey, 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 I'm going to minister today. <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. Oh, or better, worse yet, a bowl of frosted flakes, then you think I'm going right? <laughs> Come on now, church. It took Jesus 18 years to get ready for his ministry. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get too many amens on that one. Amen. It took him 18 years to get ready for his ministry. And notice how the ministry began. He didn't do anything until he was baptized in water and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, today we come into the church, get saved on Monday, and we want to preach by Friday. <coughs> Literally. Oh, I had a dream. Must have been a nightmare after a pepperoni pie or something. <coughs> you don't come to church on Monday and think you're going to preach by Friday. It doesn't happen that way. Yet people try to do it. How long have you been saved? Six months. Does it show? No. <laughs> we need to take the time to get into the Word of God. We need to take the time to prepare. We must be baptized in what? We must be saved, <clears throat> baptized, and filled with the Holy Spirit before we can even begin to truly, truly, truly understand the call of the ministry. Understand what you're supposed to do. When God asks you to do something, He wants to see where your faithfulness lies. Amen. Amen. It may not be something you might want to do. It took me over almost 40 years to get behind a pulpit and to be here where I am today. It took Moses 40 years of preparation in the wilderness just to deliver a nation of stiff-necked people. There's preparation that must be done. There's preparation that must be done. There's preparation that must be done in order for you to be the best servant you can be. Amen. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Notice you don't have to show yourself approved unto any man. Amen. You don't need 17 doctorates and 4 PhDs and 2 hallelujahs. <laughs> All you need is the Word of God, the Holy Ghost, and ho ho. A time with Him, and He will make the mysteries of the Word known to you. <clears throat> if you don't have it up here, the Word says, If any man lacks wisdom, and that includes you ladies too, let him ask of God, who will give to him liberally. 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 You're going to get more than what you bargained for. Because God is an awesome God. And it says, a workman, ha, 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 there's work to do, that need not be ashamed. Oh, the book of Hebrews, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. <clears throat> Rightly dividing the word of truth, and that is the key. We have to rightfully divide the word of truth. When you are in the church, the true church, that's rightfully dividing the word of truth. You will have here a little, there a little, precept upon precept, concept upon concept, and everything will lead you to absolute truth. It, everything will lead you to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Everything will lead you to your own personal edification. It will stir up the gifts within you, and it will get you ready to become the minister that God called you to be. Oh, glory be to God. So am I a minister? You bet I am. It's almost like, you, you guys ever seen that thing on TV? Where they have a line of men, and they say, who's going to volunteer to die? And 19 guys step back and one guy's left up there. That's what the church does. When God says, I have a work to do, Samuel said, here I am, Lord, send me. 
The church will volunteer you. Oh, he's good at it, I know. I discern it in my spirit. Why don't you give it a crack? Why don't you volunteer? Why don't you step up and say, Lord, here I am. Show me what I need to do. Empower me for what I need to do. And help me get it right. Amen. Amen. Why can't we do that? Because we need to go home to watch those desperate housewives. <laughs> God forbid the Super Bowl's on with the church empties out. There are people who, there are some churches that have services earlier just so they can go home and watch the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? I don't get it. You serve the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and something on television is more important than He? You serve the one who died for you and something else in the world is greater than He or better than He or more important than He? Are you kidding me? This is insane. We in the church are on the brink of a meltdown. The, 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 the remnant few are becoming fewer and fewer as we die off. Because the remnant is not increasing. Because there are too many people in the church playing church and doing other things that God did not call us to do. Amen. We got called to the fellowship of Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be ministers unto one another and unto the body of Christ and unto a dying world who should look at you and say, what is it about you that's so different? And you could look at him and say, thank you for asking. It's Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that lives within me. His love is within me. His power is within me. Everything about him is within me. That is what's so different about me. Amen. 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 Instead, what's so different about you? Oh, I have an in, I have an upset stomach that you wouldn't believe. I need about three three bottles of Pepto Bismol just to get rid of this thing. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, because you look awful. I don't get it. We look awful when we eat things we are not to. Amen. And I'm not talking about food. We should be feasting on the Word of God. We've got an entire platter that's humongous. If you think that a sumo bowl assignment is big, sit before the banquet of Jesus Christ and see how much food you have to eat. Oh, glory be to God. It'll feed your body. It'll feed your soul. It'll feed your spirit. It'll feed everything that you have. And then when you are stuffed and you can't get no more, then the dessert shows up. Oh, 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 oh glory be to God. That's called the bonus. Hmm. Blessed be His holy name. You can't help you can't help. You can't help yourself. Listen to me, church. You can't help yourself. When you're with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, it's an exciting time in your life. Amen. The greatest things happen when you are serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Even trials and tribulations Amen. are not trials and tribulations. They're an opportunity. Amen. 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 Oh, yes, glory be to God. Yes, it's an opportunity for you to be a servant and for God to be God by the covenant that was established at the cross. Oh, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Oh, glory be to God. Woo! I get excited. Church, sorry about that. I can't help it. I don't have anything to do with it. I couldn't do a miracle if I wanted to. I couldn't do anything outside of my part of the covenant. All I have to do for a miracle to happen is start it. My job is to start it. Jesus' job is to finish it. Why? Because we work together in covenant. I am a servant on earth serving the master servant. And together we make things happen. Amen. Amen. Together we make things happen. I can't do anything by myself, and I'll use the word I there because his focus is on me. I am useless without Christ. Get a hold of that church. Amen. Amen. There's nothing that I can do of my own, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ha ha! Blessed be his holy name. I may be oh, downtrodden, oh, but he says, no, 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 no. This is not the time to quit. Mount up with wings as eagles. Run and not grow weary. Walk and not faint, for I am with you to the very end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be his name.
his holy name. The ministry of Christ belongs to him as a servant of his. All we have to do is participate in it. He does all of the work for us. And now that I've come down for this, we give him honor and glory. <laughs> oh, how lovely. How lovely. If any man speaks, let him speak the oracles of God. If any man ministers, ha ha, that's each and every one of us here, including the women. Let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. How many times have you heard me say that any time you minister or any time you do anything is for the edification of the body and the glorification of God? Here is biblical proof that what I've been saying is not only correct, but it's true and it's all established. We are ministers of love. When someone comes in through this door, they could be a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker, a doctor, a lawyer. They could be anybody. They could be strung out on drugs. They could be a prostitute. They could be an alcoholic. It doesn't matter who they are. If they walk in through this door and you're the first person they see as a minister of God, are they going to see the love of God for them in you? Come on, our church. When they walk in through that door, are they going to feel the love of God for them in you? Are you going to have, as a minister, everything that you need? Are you going to be equipped? Are you going to be ready to say, welcome home? Especially if they don't smell so good. Jesus died for us all. And it doesn't matter what the enemy may have us. His plan is that none should perish, but that all come to the saving grace and knowledge of truth. And he uses us as his ministers to get the truth out to them.